Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, you learned how to delete a node that's in between two other nodes of a singly linked list. And in this lecture, let's add a new method to our existing singly linked list file to achieve the same. I have created three nodes, John, Ben and Matthew to our singly linked list. Let's take a look at how our singly linked list looks like. So open your terminal and enter python3 or py on whichever system you are in, space the file name which is singly linked list.py. So we have our linked list as John, Ben and Matthew. So what we want to do here is to delete this particular node with the data Ben such that our linked list then only has John and Matthew. Let's see how to do that. So now our linked list class will have a new method. Let me call it delete at. So that would be linked list dot delete at and then we pass the position of the node which is to be deleted. Now since we want to delete this particular node, this is at the position one. So let's pass the position here as one. So now let's go back to our linked list class and then have a new method here. So that would be define delete at and then this accepts a parameter which is the position which is to be deleted. So first we need to traverse the list till we reach that position. So let's make use of a temporary node. Let me call it as current node. This starts from our head node and we also have a position counter. Let me call it current position and assign it with the value zero which is the position of our head node. And then we run an infinite while loop and within this while loop we check if the position which is being passed is equal to the current position. So that would be to check if your current position is equal to the position which is being passed. So we initially have the linked list like this with the head node as John, the next of John pointing to Ben, the next of Ben pointing to Matthew and finally the next of Matthew pointing to none. The position which is being passed on as the parameter has the value 1. So first we check if current position which is 0 is equal to 1. Since it is not equal, this statement does not get executed. So for now let's have a pass statement. Let's skip this and come back later and fill things up. So when the current position is not equal to the position that is being passed, then we need to advance to the next node. So that would be current node equal to current node dot next. And then we need to advance the current position as well. So that would be current position plus equal to one. So in the next iteration, current position will have the value one, which is equal to the value which is being passed on. So we need to delete this particular node with the data Ben. And how do we do that? We make the next of John point to the next of Ben. But now our current node is already at Ben and we have lost the connection to John. So before we advance the current node to Ben, we need to store our previous node. So that would be previous node equal to current node. Our current node initially had John and we make a copy of John in previous node and then advance to the next node which is Ben. Now what we do is if the current position is equal to the position which is being passed on as the parameter, then we make the previous nodes next which is John's next now points to the next of Ben and where is Ben? That's in the current node. So the next of John now points to the next of Ben. So now that we have established a link between John and Matthew, we can nullify the next of Ben. So that would be your current node dot next will be none. And once this is done, we can break from the loop. So now let's save this program and execute it to see if it works as expected. So now on execution, we see that we have deleted the node with the data Ben. Our linked list now has just John and Matthew. So now let's go back to our delete at method and cover the corner cases. And what are the corner cases? We need to check if the position which is being entered is an invalid position. We need to check if the list is empty or not. And we also need to check if the node which is being deleted is the head node or not. Let's first start by checking if it's an invalid position. So let's go back to our method and here we first check if the position which is being entered is less than zero or if the position is greater than the length of the list for which we had earlier written a method which is list length. And if this is the case, we give a print statement to the user that says it's an invalid position and then we return from this method. Now if the position that is being entered is 4 then that's greater than the length of the list and that prints an invalid position. But then what if the position that is being entered is 3? Now here the number of nodes are 3 which means our list length method will return the value 3. But then we are trying to delete a node at position 3. The count of position starts from 0. So John is at 0, Ben is at 1 and Matthew is at 2. 
which means even if the position is equal to 3, that's an invalid case. So we need to change this to position greater than or equal to self.list length. Next, let's check if the list is empty or not. So we need to perform all of these operations only if the list is not empty. So here we check if your self dot is list empty returns a false only then perform all of these operations. And the first thing that you need to check here is if you're trying to delete the head node. So how do we check if it's the head node or not? If the position which is being passed on is zero, then that means it's the head node. So if this is the case, then we call the delete head method. So that would be self dot delete head. And then we return from this method. And with that, we have come to an end of this lecture and we have completed all the deletion cases of a singly linked list. So we now have a complete program of a singly linked list. So we have a class called node, which is used to create nodes. We have a class called linked list, which is used to create a linked list. And we have an init method, which initializes the head to none. And we have a method called is list empty, which is used to check if the list is empty or not. We have a method called list length, which is used to check the length of the list. And we have insert methods. We have the insert head method, which inserts a new node as the head node. We have insert at method, which is used to insert a node at a particular position and we have an insert end method which is used to insert a new node at the end of a singly linked list. Similarly, we have delete methods. We have delete head which deletes the head node and assigns the next node as the head node. We have a delete at method which is used to delete the node at a given position and we have a delete end method which is used to delete the last node of a linked list. And finally, we have a print list method which is used to traverse the linked list printing all its data starting from the first node till the last. By this, I hope you have a strong understanding on a singly linked list. Thank you.